Hello everyone, I'm Ian from Micromelon, and as a lot of us know, the Australian National Curriculum is coming to schools in 2019. Now in this curriculum, students in years three and four are expected to learn through a drag and drop coding. But then three years later, they're expected to move to text-based programming in languages like Python. Now this is gonna be difficult for students because that's a big jump to make, but it's actually gonna be even harder for teachers, especially those with no background in coding. Now, when we went talking to schools, we met Jen. Jen's a great teacher. She went to university studying maths and education, and she's aware that she needs to be ready for the upcoming curriculum. So Jen went out and bought the current leader in robotics education, which is Lego Mindstorms. After putting, spending two hours putting together the kit, downloading drivers, plugging cables in, she's finally able to um, boot up their software for drag and drop programming. And it looks like this. This is intimidating for someone who hasn't seen code before, is also not exactly intuitive for how it should be used. She thinks, well, maybe I'll look at what my sixes and sevens will be using. So she opens up Lego's text-based platform. And again, this is intimidating for students who are just getting into this sort of thing. But the worst part is that there is no clear connection between these two things. There's no linking transition between blocks and code. Now, we gave Jen a Micromelon robot. She took it out of the box, she turned it on, she connected with Bluetooth and downloaded our software. Easy. Then she opened up our text-based, um, uh, sorry, our drag and drop platform. And it's something that kids have seen before. It's similar to Scratch, which students learn in outreach programs such as Coder Dojo and RoboGals. And it can also do text. This is just Python, something that's taught in high schools and universities. But the thing that makes us truly unique is that we're able to seamlessly um, handle the transition between blocks to code. So here a student can see how the blocks look in code and begin experimenting in Python, writing code and seeing how it turns to blocks. This makes the transition from blocks to code simpler for students and teachers. Now, the reason we can do this is we have a software and hardware platform. Having a fully integrated system, we're able to make sure that both both pillars are aligned with the new curriculum. We, went to some, we partnered with some of the leading schools in robotics education, and they also have identified that the junior school robotics is going to be an issue in the upcoming curriculum. Now, it isn't just these three schools um, that we have to worry about. There are 6,000 primary schools in Australia, all of which will, that will need to be curriculum compliant by 2019. 100,000 teachers who are expected to teach the new curriculum um, next year, and two million students that will be making that jump into the coding curriculum. Now, if we can't prepare our teachers, then we can't help students achieve their full potential. We've been running workshops to make sure that what we're doing is aligned with what both students and teachers need. Now, a lot of parents have come up to us and asked us if it's possible to buy a Micromelon robot because they want to be able to give their kid that advantage in the classroom. Looking into it, the robotics education industry is, $20 billion, is a $20 billion market. Now, our current business model is selling competitively priced hardware. At $250 per robot, it's possible for schools to be able to afford a class set where each student gets a robot. At $25 yearly student subscription per student, teachers gain access to a teaching portal that has learning analytics for students as well as curriculum con aligned content. Currently, we're working with um, our foundation partners and developing curriculum with them. In quarter two, we want to move up to small scale production and sell robots to our foundation partners. But by quarter three this year, we are moving to large scale production and fulfillment of orders. We need to have this done by 2019 so that we're all prepared for the upcoming curriculum. Now, this is ambitious, but we're a team who has the experience for it. With a technical background, um, we've also had experience in teaching university students and school students robotics. But not only that, we had turned something that was a concept three months ago into something that's being used in schools today. Cur our current ask is $250,000 to get to mass production as well as the experience needed for that. We're Micromelon and we're helping Australia learn robotics.